like to decorate for Christmas in November, or do you prefer to decorate on Thanksgiving weekend, or maybe even the first part of December? Well, historically, I have decorated Thanksgiving weekend, but I've come to realize that if I want to be helpful to you, I need to talk about Christmas in November so that you can get some ideas. So that's what we're going to do starting today. Today, we're going to talk about planning your Christmas decor. The first thing I recommend that you do is just sit in your room or stand at the doorway and look around. So that's what I did first. And I have never really done that before. I sat in my chairs, I sat on the couch, I stood in the doorway and I just thought for a long time. And I looked around the room and I thought, okay, what problems do I have in this room? Where would I like the tree to be? I've got bookshelves in here now because when my mother passed away, I decided to put our bookshelves in here and work towards making this room more of a library. So I can't put the tree in the same place. I thought, well, I think it'd be a really good idea to put that tree in front of the window. This room isn't large enough for a big full-size tree. I bought a beautiful seven foot pencil tree from Michael's last year that will work really well there, but I'm going to have to move out that cabinet. So I'll put that in the garage. I want the tree over there the most because the theme I have decided to go with in this room is a vintage Christmas with a Ralph Lauren bent to it. I'm going to put some pictures that I got on Pinterest here that really inspired me. Ralph Lauren was particularly big in the 1990s and the 2000s. He's still around, but he's really known for plaids. And so I thought of the Victorian and some of the fancy things on the tree. And then I thought of plaids because he just doesn't use the red Highland plaid. He uses the greenback plaid and blue black plaids and combines them together. And it just creates this really cozy, warm look. So I'm going to do that. And I've got some things coming. I've got enough decor purchase from my list that the next video is going to be a really nice haul. Things I got at Hobby Lobby and Walmart and the thrift store. So you'll want to make sure you're subscribed so you can see that and all the Christmas decorating videos I have coming because they are a lot. And of course, if you like this kind of thing, if you like talking about Christmas decor and Christmas baking and all kinds of Christmas things, would you give the video a like? That would be really helpful. Okay, one of the inspiration pictures I found was something I can use on this bookcase. Historically, this bookcase has been a little hard for me and I don't think I've done a good enough job with it. But then I found this picture and they had put a gold framed piece of art here with all the books and, and the garden on top. And I thought, I'm gonna try that. I think I can make that look really, really beautiful. And then, in the past, I've always put my nativity on the piano. This year, I'm gonna put a garland and have garland up here, maybe wreaths on here. Make sure that these bookcases are really full and rich and beautiful. I saw a piece where they had put a wreath over the mirror and I thought that would be really beautiful. So I'm gonna treat the piano basically like a mantle. So I'm really excited about that. And I have ordered a lot of the plaid things that we were talking about. And then I wanna do a really nice gallery wall. Another thing I've done is that I have ordered a new rug. It is not Art Deco, but it kind of has that feel and it has greens and creams and accents of blue and burgundy and gold. And I think it's going to be really beautiful. The reason I ordered the rug is I've realized the rug is too small. I've learned a few things since last year and this is a six by nine. I had remembered the size incorrectly. It should be an eight by 10. This is why these chairs are floating. And if I bring them up on the rug, they're too far in the room. So you can see this is really where the chairs belong, maybe a little bit further. And so I have ordered an eight by 10. I've also got some really neat things coming that, you know, I just want them to be a surprise for when I decorate. And so you'll have to stay tuned to that. Here's something I got in a thrift store. And I'm really excited about it. it cost me $15. 
And you might go, well, you know, what does that have to do with Christmas? Well, I'm going to be hanging it up like that so it's high. And I just need a, to do a little repair work on the frame, which is no big deal to me. I get a lot of art at thrift stores, and I'm used to fixing the frames. But I love to paint with acrylics. And so I thought, how fun would this be to take this apart and use this shape and turn this into a Christmas tree uh, with pine and then put some lights on it and some bulbs, maybe put some gold accents on this. I don't really want to go to the, all the problem of changing the background or adding things like Christmas presents. But I know I can turn this into a really neat tree and it will be such a fun project. I'm really looking forward to that. Something else I'm going to do is I'm going to put a garland over that curve there. It's the entrance into this beautiful room. I intended to do that last year and I just ran out of steam. I have a beautiful garland. I can't wait to see if I can execute that. But you can just imagine how that could be with that over that curve and then to walk into this really rich, cozy room. That's my goal. Hopefully I will be able to pull it off. I'll put a garland up the stairs. That's always really fun for me. Last year I bought some beautiful cedar garland from an Etsy shop. I wasn't able to find it the year before and so I made sure I bought that in early October. And it's the kind of thing that just sells out immediately and the price was reasonable when I bought it because I bought it so early. So I'm excited about that and I think I'm going to add to it this year. I have an overabundance of eucalyptus and I may add that in there. I may, may add some ornaments to it. I'll definitely add bows but I'm really wanting to make this look kind of grand this year. I will put lights on it. I didn't put lights on it last year. So you can imagine, you can see the beautiful garland, you can see the arch, the garland over the arch. And I am planning on doing a gallery wall over the couch with lots of gold frames and rich. And I want to do a gallery wall up the stairs. I've done that before and we really liked it. I took it down because my granddaughter moved in and she was two and she knocked it off all the time. Well, that won't be a problem anymore. So I think I'll put the gallery wall and I may go as far as putting it up there because I used to have it up there as well. We'll see how far I get this year, but I'm definitely gonna do the gallery wall over the couch in the living room and I really want to do that part of the stairs. So we'll see. I'm planning on putting the nativity set here this year and I've never done that before. I usually put it on the piano. You know how it is. You get stuck. You you find, you know, you have your decor and if you're like me, you like to buy a little bit every year and it then kind of piles up and then you have things that you're really attached to and you find a place to put them and so you keep putting them back in that place. Well, that's what I did for years I put my Santa Claus collection here and then last year I did this thing with candles and but I've always put the nativity set on the piano but because I want to do a different look in here I'm going to put the nativity set there and see if I can make that look really special so that's something to think about and one of the reasons I'm encouraging you to just sit in your rooms and think because you may realize of the problems and you may in your mind get creative and think oh wait a minute i can use this over here and i can move these things around and i can create an entire new look and then it gets really exciting when you think about christmas okay so we're in my family room and this room has been a problem to me it really has been a problem and the reasons is because we had black items the tv looks much better than it did a year ago because it was black and so huge black thing so i painted it white i really enjoyed it and it makes it easier for me to decorate it's solid wood it will cost a lot to replace it and so i've been choosing just to use it that's one thing that when you get a little older, you realize it's kind of hard to go out and replace everything that you have. I have some ideas of what I'm going to be doing there, which I'll tell you about here. Another problem I've had is this big black wood burning stove. 
And it took me so long to realize and come up with an idea of how I can solve this problem. All I've known is that it seems like it's floating. I have these two holes I need to decorate. It's very hard for me decorate, to decorate them. Of course, it's a little easier at Christmas because I can put the Christmas tree in there. But it still, it feels like it's floating. It's a big black thing. And it really is so cozy. We love it when it gets cooler and we can start burning fires in there you can see it's it's full of paper right now because my husband's already anticipating the first fire but i've had this really big problem of what do i do and i think the viewers of my youtube videos have sensed it and i don't think that people have enjoyed watching those videos so much as much because something has felt off and it has felt off to me but i think i've come up with a solution I'm very, very, very excited. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm going to be doing a whole video about it. So please subscribe so you can watch it because, oh my goodness, if I pull this off, this room is all of a sudden going to look so much better. It's going gonna, it's gonna to involve me doing some work back here and something with the curtains. I think it's going to be really good. As I mentioned, our Christmas tree has gone here. We have had it in that corner before, but that's when we had different furniture. With this furniture and all of this, this is the only corner that's big enough. So last year I bought a seven foot tree, no, a nine foot tree. So it goes clear up to the top. I was so excited to put it up and I tried my best to decorate it. I got some new ornaments, some new ribbon and used some of the things I had, but that tree just did not look right. I did my very best job and I'm not saying it was an awful ugly tree, but it didn't look right. And so I thought about it and I have watched some YouTube videos and I had a Eureka and absolutely were you recut. And so in the next video, when I do the haul, I'm gonna show you some of the things I've purchased. And now I'm so excited to decorate this tree and I'm gonna do a whole video about it, which I hope will be very helpful to you. So you can look forward to that. Our tree will go here. And then I'm hoping what I'm planning to do will kinda of close it up here. I'll probably move my mother's prayer chair over there, even though it's not in great shape yet. I've mentioned this chair before. It, the upholstery got damaged. So I have some plans of how I'm going to be revamping it, but that will have to be after Christmas. So I've been collecting really nice Santa and snowman and penguin ornaments for maybe 15 years. I mean, just really beautiful ornaments. I didn't use them last year. I went with this other theme. And I when I told the grandchildren that I'm planning to using those this year. They were really excited. So this year will be our kids' delight with the reindeer and Santa Claus and the red. And I think it's going to really cheer up the room. The top of the TV stand and everything will be bright and cheery. And I'll show you some of the items I have. And of course, I'm going to use a lot of things that I already own and some things I just didn't use last year. So I've decided I'm not going to decorate the top floor this year. Maybe I'll do a little bit in the bathroom up there. Not worth showing you, but I'm going to give the decorations that I used last year to my daughter so that they can use it downstairs in their apartment. I have some fun plans for the kitchen. Some of it you will have seen before and some of it's brand new to the point where I don't want to spoil the surprise. But just know that the walls are going to look different. The window's going to look different. Of course, I will put my really nice Santa collection up here. But last year it was really kind of crowded in there and I'm going to not do that so much this year. And I'll use some of it in the family room. And then I'm going to bring in some of that Ralph Lauren look where I'll have the, the plaid tablecloth. I'm gonna do this really neat thing that he did on the lap, lap fixture. And I have bought a new rug. This one is very full. <laughs> and I needed one that will really fit well with Christmas. I buy the washable rugs on Amazon. The one I bought is maybe a sixth, and yes, that's it. 
one sixth of the price of what it would cost me if I bought a similar rug from Ruggable. This one I got on Amazon again, it didn't cost a lot and I've really enjoyed it because we have the Collie and she has thrown up on the rug three times. I've washed it, you just uh, wash it in my regular washer. I hang it to dry and it looks as good as new. You have to be a little tricky when you like get the dog hair and crumbs off, but I've come up with a method. So I will never have anything but a washable rug in this room again. I'm very excited about my plans. I hope this was helpful to you. And again, I recommend that before you start decorating, and if you haven't started shopping yet, sit in your room and just think. Think about what you have. If you can't remember what you have, Bring your bins down, maybe put them in the garage or in a spare room or somewhere where you can get into the bins or maybe have pictures from the last Christmas. One thing I did is I looked at some of my old videos to go, oh yeah, I remember I have that because I'd kind of forgotten. If you haven't seen my video where I redid the kitchen, I'll link to it here because that was me setting the foundation of what I'm going to be doing with my decorations in the future. So I'll see you next time. Bye.